Hi guys, welcome back to the fifth part of the modular beginners tutorial. I'm the Cliff Factor and today I uh, want to talk about amplitude modulation, about voltage controlled amplifier and about ADSR. Lots of things to do, <laughs> I will try to get it quickly done. But first the smoke and then let's start. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, in the last videos we did a lot of modulation, modulation stuff with the VCO. And always we used as well the VCA and the ADSR and I never explained what they do. So the VCA, voltage controlled amplifier, um, yeah, controls the amplitude of any signal in your modular system. It can be a controlling system like CV, control voltage, or uh, an audio signal, at least it's all the same. The most common use is to connect an ADSR, an envelope generator, to shape the sound of the oscillator. But there are other uses, you can control voltages, um, yeah, for anything. And one of the uses, is called AM amplitude modulation. This is what, what I will show you quickly right now. So we got this VCO playing and we use another VCO to control the amplitude of this VCO. What will happen is that you normally will hear the, the root frequency of this VCO but you will listen to this as well, to the second VCO, or to an LFO, this is what I'll show you later, but let's do the, the hard thing first. Okay, now let's take a sine wave here to this um, attenuator, that gives us more control about what we are doing, and let's connect this. Now you don't hear anything, because here everything is set to zero, okay? Now let's bring this up, and nothing happens because they are both in the same frequency, okay? But now, let's listen to this. Okay, you see? And you hear. How nice is this? Yeah, this is great. Let's change the waveform. You're controlling with a sine wave, a saw wave, okay? Oh, let's go back to a triangle and let's give this. You can make a lot of funny stuff with this, okay? And let's give this a sequence. I think you got the idea. I'm sure you got the idea, okay? Play with this. It's a lot of fun. And another um, thing you can do, I forgot to put an LFO here. You can do the same thing with an LFO. Let's connect this quickly. And let's get this. Okay, back. Now you're controlling this with low frequency oscillator, that's not in audio range. But um, with the offset, we give it a little offset that we hear something, and now we do this do soft modulation here. And this is like a tremolo, okay? This is an effect very common, and when you use it here with a melody. <laughs> I'm the most stupid hero in the world. Okay, here. Here we go. Okay, got it. 
So play around with this, lots of fun, always, and subtle effects as well. Okay. So the next thing, we are good in time, I think, is the ADSR. Um, the ADSR is what you see here. ADSR is because, uh, called ADSR because of the four knobs, A, D, S, R. And if you hear this annoying sound behind me, it started to rain heavily here. I will see if this recording is good or not because it's really raining hot. And you, I'm sure you hear that, okay? So sorry for that. Um, this is an envelope generator that we use, for instance, to control the level or the amplitude of an of sound, of a VCO, but we used it uh, in former uh, videos to control modulation, filters, and so on. So I try to explain this quickly. Um, attack, decay, sustain, release. Attack, decay, and release are time-based or uh, controlling times, and the sustain is controlling a level. So what you see here first, this time from here to here is the attack time. Means this is the time when the sound goes from zero, the volume or the amplitude, or whatever you control, up to 100%. The decay time is the time how long it takes to fall until the sustain level, okay? And the release time means how much time it takes to go from the sustain level to zero in case that you are using a gate input, something I, yeah, I faked here, something like uh, if you play a keyboard, yeah, and hold uh, the key for a long time. And best thing, is to listen to this, okay? You see? When I increase this, this is tain or the, the gate, you will see it gets longer here. And when I decrease this, oh, I lost my module now, I got it here. Then it will be shorter. If you use a trigger or a short gate, this is what I have here. Maybe not short enough, yeah. Then sometimes, if, if it's a real trigger, um, the sustain level won't be happening. Because, because of what? If it's only a trigger signal, then there's no sustain because no key is holded, okay? Now, uh, let's play around with this. Attack time, you see? The sound comes very quickly. Now short decay and give it a long release. Okay? There's a few, not a, not a lot, special cases. So when you put the sustain to 100%, the decay knob doesn't do anything because from the attack, yeah, the end of the attack time, you go directly to the sustain because the sustain is 100%. It's only if the sustain is smaller than 100%, then the decay time, yeah, you see it here, is working, okay? And when you bring the sustain to zero, this is what I showed you, said to you before, this is what I'm faking here, um, then you mostly use, can use this one like an attack decay thing, okay? Let's. Now let's give it a little bit fun. Okay, this is mostly what you need to know about ADSR. Got it? Um, now, why, why should s anybody 
want to control these guys here. And believe me, if you have sequences and enough time to check this out with a sampling hole, this is something we did before, um, try to control these randomly or controlled like with a sequencer. And this is because, I'll show you, I better I'll show you, don't, don't talk too much, okay? Let me see if this has any effect. Doesn't. Ah, uh, because this is too... Yeah. yeah, you got it. If you control this with a sample and hold, these two, you can g get very nice effects, or even with a sequencer. These two sequencers are not synced together right now, that's why it is not like... Yeah, really... Uh, on the point. And you can control all the four um, parameter, par parameters, parameters, my English is really sucking right now. And you can get very interesting melodies with that, okay? Try this, play around with this, that's for today. I hope um, I didn't talk too crazy and I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, see you next time on the Clear Factor. I hope it was fun. See you.